Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your own radio station in the cloud. This video is part of the Summer of Sound, and that is part of our awesome audio gear giveaway. Up for grabs $6,000 worth of audio equipment, including stuff from Adobe, Mackie, Isotope, and in this video, I'm featuring Spatial, who make fantastic online radio station software. Their flagship software course, Sam Broadcaster Pro, it's been around for a long time, works with Windows only. How about cross platform streaming of radio stations. We'd like that. That's where Sam Broadcaster Cloud comes into play. And that's what I'm going to demo right here. If you'd like to get a free trial, click the link in the description of this video, or just enter the awesome audio gear giveaway and win a year's worth of Sam Broadcaster Cloud. So let's log in and see exactly how it works. Logging in right now, then you'll get your control panel. You'll see uh, you can name your station and put it on the air. It's currently off the air. But first, I'm going to click this upload icon here, which will allow me to pop in some audio. Now, I've got loads of episodes of the Adobe Audition podcast. I'm just going to upload the latest two episodes, 10 and 11. Drag and drop interface, as simple as that. Currently uploading as music, but I can go here and say upload interviews into library. Yep, I want to change that. They are now interview types instead of music type, uh, which was perfect considering I'm creating an online station of my Adobe Audition podcast. So they're going to whiz up now to the cloud. Okay, with that audio now uploaded into the cloud, I can hop back and take a look at my Sam Broadcaster Cloud control panel uh, where the audio should appear momentarily under the interview section of my library. As you can see the space here for music, sound effects, jingles, and more. Let's click interview. And you can see here, wow, okay, it's got episode 10 and 11. And I can also see episode two here, uh, which I uploaded earlier featuring Jason Levine. Uh, so we're getting those all uploading. And as you can see, it also imports metadata, which is super important. If your WAV or MP3 files have metadata, You'll get all the data included here, which is fantastic uh, for when you're broadcasting your radio station. Uh, it will have the actual information of the track you're currently playing. Uh, so now while this is all processing, I'm just going to go into the settings here and I'm going to change this to uh, mrc.fm. Uh, and let's put as the description Adobe Audition Podcast. I can put a web URL if I like as well. And you've got uh, spaces here for your socials and the genre of the station as well. You can select a genre down here. Uh, I might go for the typical, let's see if speech is available. Yeah, speech, that's good. Click OK. Upload a station logo if you like, all of that good stuff. Changes are saved, station name updates here. Listeners eventually will appear over here next to this people icon. Let's go back to the library. And there are other fantastic features here such as live control, meaning you can actually take over and go live on your station as you wish. You can set up a schedule as well if you'd like to uh, put in all kinds of music and interviews at different times of the day. You can get fine grain with that. There's an academy with tutorial videos, stream health, widgets, which I'll get into in just a moment. Uh, but let's just go back and let's take this uh, podcast from Jason Levine, put it in the queue. And if we put our station on the air now, you should see that this goes on. It might take just a few moments to start playing the Adobe Audition podcast by Jason Levine. Uh, and here it is appearing in the history, uh, meaning that we should be up and broadcasting live. Yeah, as simple as that. In just a couple of minutes, uh, we've already got content in there and ready to listen to. So let's hop into widgets now. And you can see here, we've got a free hosted website. We can also generate links for different players, uh, generate embeddable widgets as well. Uh, you can submit stuff to directories such as TuneIn. It's all available here in an easy format in the widget section. Let's click view player site. See if this starts playing some audio from my radio station. Here it is, metadata included and Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. And there you go. It's as simple as that to set up your own online radio station in the cloud using Sam Broadcaster Cloud. Win a year subscription to this service by going to mrc.fm slash giveaway and good luck.